Hello and welcome back to another streaming session for the Indirina booth online here by us Handy Games. Today, or now, we're gonna play a little bit of Spitlings and talk to developers of the game about how they approach the game, what is their thought behind it and just get some insight for you guys. We, that is Jan and I from the QA. And today we're gonna have Michael from Massive Mini Team with us to talk about the game and also play a little bit so you guys get a first glimpse at the game which is available already for all, all platforms. platforms. Yes. PS4. And if you want to try it out, I think the demo is available also. On exactly. The Arena Booth uh, online convention. So just head over to IndieArenaBooth.com, check out the Handy Games booth, the Spitlings booth, and yeah, test the demo, get the game, it's a lot of fun. Yep, definitely. So all platforms, PS4, Xbox, Switch and Steam. Now, we will not switch to the Discord because Michael doesn't have a camera, so you're stuck with us, but you should hear him if he's starting to talk now. Hello, can you hear me? Hey, <laughs> yes, we can hear you and the audience should also hear you. So, Michael, quick introduction. Hi. Who are you? What are you doing at the Massive Mini Team? Uh, hi, I'm one of the founders of Massive Mini Team. Uh, you can call me also Michael. It's easier in English. That's, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind either way. Um, and I've been the creative director on Spitlings. Um, yeah, talking about Massive Mini Team, like we're a small indie studio from Cologne, like from the Cologne area right now. I have to say because we moved a bit out of <laughs> the actual city, but we are very, very close still, and we are we are still very close to the. Um, to the Gamescom venue, actually. Oh, that's nice. Yep. That's so nice that you're close to the Gamescom venue because <laughs> then you don't have, like, you know, a lot yeah. of distance to the Gamescom. But you know what's a shame? If there is no Gamescom. I know. <laughs> I know. It's all online and nobody has to walk there. You can just sit at home and click through. Yeah. And, and walk enjoy digitally. All the games. Yeah. Exactly. You can, uh, we also have a booth for Spitlings. So you can um, ask Felix mentioned already, head over to the Indie Arena booth online, create an avatar, join, and look for the Spitlings booth and check it out on your own, join the Discord and play the demo. So, yeah, Michael, you were talking about the massive mini team. Um, how yes. many people are working there? And uh, we can also, I think we can show some pictures at least for your team. So, go um. ahead. So right now we are 14. Um, it's it we are we're like expanding a lot right now. So at the moment we we are counting 14 humans and one dog. Um, <laughs> that's that's changing almost every month at the moment. But we are gonna be very stable very soon. I think um, with probably more dogs. I'm a, uh, I'm a bit <laughs> worried, but I'm very, also very excited because I I, I love pets. I was just about yeah. to say the dog dog human ratio is not not quite wide. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's cool. So the, the people are allowed to bring their dogs in the office. Yeah, absolutely. Um, nice. We have a quite a big office, um, and it's a bit outside of the city, so it's really nice for dogs, actually. Yeah, so we don't mind. Very nice. Um, so yeah, you've talked about the team and. We saw on the pictures here that cycling in the background this huge wall full of, full of, I think it's spitlings, right? It's spitlings drawings, avatars. Yep. So, first of all, let's talk a little bit of spit about spitlings. What what are spitlings exactly? What were you aiming for? Um, just for the guy, for, for for the viewers who don't know what spitlings is, how would you describe it? Um, so Spitlings uh, is our own first game title. Um, uh, we call it a hardcore arcade platformer that is very inspired by games like Pang uh, or Super Buster Bros. If you uh, remember those, if you're a bit older, um, that's in, in old, quotes. I don't remember. Uh, also, also in in very strong quotes. Younger viewers might know the flash game Bubble Trouble. Um, and with this, I mean like people in the mid twenties, I think. <laughs> and I'm yeah. I'm not really sure if there's a, a more um, like if there's a newer example ex apart from Spitlings. Like there are bubble busting games around, but nothing so severe as those like those nostalgic games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And um, yes, yep. sorry, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, um, so I can just quickly say the main goal of the game, of course, is to rescue all those spitlings. Uh, you, you talked about the huge wall of spitlings. Uh, we have a lot of spitlings in the game and they are very cute. And yeah. you have to rescue all of them from a mysterious bubbly goo that came from the sky. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole story in a nutshell. Yeah. And the whole story is explained in uh, four or five comics, I think. Very, yeah. mm -hmm. very five. detailed, very beautiful comics, and you get the whole package <laughs> of story. I, I mean, detailed is the right word. Yeah, I don't beautiful. know if beautiful is beautiful, is beautifully correct. drawn. <laughs> yeah, that's drawn. true. That's true. They're they're incredibly uh, well drawn uh, by our artist Simon. Yes. Um, some people said they are disgusting at some um, places. I, might I have found, find them, that yeah. very offensive. I don't <laughs> know what they, what they even mean. It has it has a little a SpongeBob close up uh, touch. Yep. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. So yeah, speaking of the the art style, so I, I we have a little video here. I mean. Um, um, those were like the first ideas, the first concepts of the game, right? So maybe uh, tell us a little bit about your thought process going in there and how you, you came up with this with this art style and um, how that evolved. Um, so this project was uh, a university project actually, like in the back way before Massive Mini Team was a thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I wanted to, to make a pang like game. Um, so I started actually doing it in 3D, which is weird. I don't know if the, <laughs> that's the pictures you're shown because I can't really see it right now. Yeah, um, we, yeah we have uh, the, like the 2D um, flash type style um, art. This is uh, this is what we're showing. This is actually 3D, but it's oh okay rendered very flat. Yeah, ah, I see. Because that's what I went for back then. Um, and it's changed quite a lot, as you can see. Uh, it's mostly <laughs> like came from from a few technical ideas we had, and then we totally went with this gooey, bubbly um, style that fits the game very well, I think. Yes, I think so too. It's very, very fitting for the whole spitting bubbly theme. Yeah, the spitting actually was there very, very early. Because the assignment back then for me doing this thing was make a game out drinking and shooting, which was <laughs> which was meant differently, I think. Okay. <laughs> but I thought like, okay, uh, if you want drinking and shooting, I I give you drinking and shooting. Yeah. So that's what I came up with. With, with how many people did you actually um, start the project? Was it from the university, like a group of students for a project, really? And you're still um, with the team, or was it? So, so this very first crappy thing, I, I did this alone, like the the very first prototype, and then when we started um, on the game at Massive Mini Team back then, uh, it was actually Robert, our um, uh, software engineer, who just started to to clean it up, in a way because it was <laughs> just messy. Because I'm not a real programmer, I can throw together stuff, mm -hmm. um, and he started with it and and ran with it because in like two weeks we had a level editor that that worked so we could do a lot of stuff with it and uh that was amazing like for me it's it's incredible to have such a speed in the development of a game definitely so impressive definitely if uh, things are coming together so quickly and it's uh, always nice to see when finally things are coming together and you can really um, see the game in action so this is yep. um, what I really love about game development. So because you have all those dis different aspects and then in the end they're coming together and you finally are able to see what you were working on. I mean, sometimes a year or anything. So yeah, even longer, probably. or even longer. So no, this is, this is very cool. Definitely. So before we do any further questioning, should we hop in the game? Because I think we can ask a few questions while we're playing, right, Michael? Yeah, absolutely. So people can see what we're talking about here. It's yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty good since we have the trailer running. Yeah, we background. do have the trailer running. <laughs> but maybe we can show a few things while we're in game. So. Yes, exactly. Um, don't be confused. We had to um, um, display the game in windowed mode right now because we're having some technical issues. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not stupid. I just, you know, <laughs> this is how it is right now. <laughs> yeah. So here you can see a few, I guess, of these. Bit links that wait. You, saw on the wall. you have to uh, enable the music. This has to important. enable the music. Yes. 
huge part of the game is the music. It is, it is. Okay. So hold on. Wait a bit. Okay, now maybe maybe go to six. Yeah. Good. Oh, right, that should be yes. fine. Back to <laughs> and now you can go ahead. Huge amount of spittings that you can see and unlocked. We start with the four on the yep. top left. The first four. First four, and then you can unlock all of these through either gameplay or achievements. So you will have to finish all the achievements to get over here. And I need to go to the submarine because I love the the ping sound. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you wanna start right here? Uh, yeah, why not? It's a very simple level to explain a bit. First level, don't get confused because you're actually working your way downwards. You're on a huge skyscape. Sky <laughs> Skyscraper, that's the word. I had trouble the last time when we were talking about that. Um, so you're working your way um, from top to bottom. And uh, so this, I think what that was a nice twist. So it confused so many people, especially when we were starting QAing it. I was like, yeah, yeah, try try one of the later levels, go for, for maybe like level three or four and one. And, he, and the first decibel were like, uh, later levels, level two, one. Hey, yeah. I'm confused. I was like, yeah, yeah. So no, this, this, was, this was this definitely a nice twist. Elevator. Reverse elevator. Elevator. <laughs> yeah, um, what you could see, I think you can see sure now. We have, uh, oh, Three levels per, per stage, I think is what you called them, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you have three B-side levels, which we could mm -hmm. probably show real quick. These are the levels the that you play. Yeah, the, the, the hard I mean, version the of the levels. They are way more difficult. They have usually more ways to get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And are the yeah, for, for me, uh, the, the B-sides, um, were always meant to be played like a bit later. Maybe you you're stuck at a point in the game and you go back and and unlock more spitlings because you get spitling for every three levels, yeah. Um, or yeah, every three levels, and also for the B sides, of course. So you can collect a lot, um, but they are like if you beat the game, you can go back and and do it again, but harder. It's like a new game plus yeah. thing, but but more open uh, when you want to play it definitely and don't don't get confused that the guys are pretty much breezing through <laughs> this right now they have a lot of hours in this game especially felix yeah. i think you're also i think you topped the 200 hours yeah easily i think have to check uh, have to check but uh, yeah definitely yeah. We were very impressed uh, by by your skills when we played the last <laughs> time together it's like i mean we, we've been developing the game so we are good at it of course but but the testers, they play the game a lot. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, it's they our job really also. Good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It was pretty close though, I gotta say, because we had, yeah. we thought about the question, like we had a question prepared if the devs are any good. <laughs> <laughs> talking talking, and running is actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah you still fine. have to concentrate on this uh, game. If the devs are any good, and I can assure you, the devs are pretty good. <laughs> nice. I mean, I was also pressuring the guys. I was like, you know, that's you have to stand for the pride of QA, so you cannot lose, guys. There's no way around it. <laughs> so they they were actually training. I can tell you that. Oh, they were wow. training for that. <laughs> we we weren't like we haven't played the game for a while. Actually, when we when we played the last time, was it's like, oh yeah, I'm really rusty. They, they so, actually yeah. they even they even went so far and made strategies for the level selection. It was like, okay, well, this oh, level comes what? up. We will choose this, but we will troll and we will go first for this one. And then after this, but if we have this rotation, we will take this one. So it was it was really good try to hard, see. Try hard QA. <laughs> try hard QA at its finest. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> uh, we, right. have to, we have to do that sometime again. Doing yeah, a, that was fun. A, a rematch tournament. Yuna already, Yuna's already hyped for the rematch. Should we <laughs> skip this and go a little bit? Yeah, let's let's show a bit more because, as you can see, um, like every floor of the the skyscraper has a totally different theme, and this is one of my favorites because it's so mysterious and a bit different from the rest. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. You to... And you can always change the theme, right? Yeah, if you want uh, to. Yep. Show you yep. Not not in the elevator, but in the game in the levels. Um, I like this one. For me, like we have internally, of course, names for all of the stuff, and this was for me the witch stage 
because it's like stage. okay yeah because the whole theme of the floor is like this castle and it's dark mm -hmm. and mysterious and the first one is obviously the castle the second one is um like sewers ah. and <laughs> the third one this one is, is witches and it's it has this brambly nature to it yeah it's more crooked everything also, yeah you also see which i think um the testers didn't even notice until we kind of told them or talked about it that yeah. any of these levels are layouted to look a certain way like we have robot levels we have yeah. groups mm -hmm. that look like little whales and it's also a very fun fun touch to it a very mm. detailed personal kind of yeah definitely and it. also yeah. with the with the more simplistic art style it's it's cool that there are so so many details going into this um I wouldn't call it little game with the amount of levels that you have in there and how <laughs> yeah, it's much, not a small game. How much stuff um, you can unlock. I mean, you know, it looks it looks pretty pretty easy, but I can tell you, whoo. Yeah. I mean, if the guys are maybe dying for once, I mean, they did just before, but uh, maybe you can show sort of showcase that uh, in the next level. Um, there's like these little cutouts these outlines um, if someone's yeah. dying and yeah. when we were when we were in the balancing phase for the game um, there, there were just levels where you had a huge pile of outlines just on one spot it was like the de the, the devs were drawing um, some kind of heat map for like the overall level and the balancing and we knew okay this part right here is maybe too hard or anything so this was also a Actually, it was pretty helpful yeah. um, for uh, the balancing process and uh, in giving you guys feedback there. So yeah, it's that's really really helpful. And you can see one outline down there. It's pretty much. You can also see who's to blame because it's the yeah. exact outline of the yeah. thing you're playing. <laughs> but, um, so um, yeah, talking about this, like we it just started out as a couch co-op game, of course, because young game studios make couch co-op games. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> and. Like we played a lot of couch co-op games ourselves. We were big fans, and what you want to do is like blame your friends and shout at each other, right? That's like the fun oh, moments. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we were trying to emphasize this in in the game as much as we can. So like the first thing um, was the the shame cam, which yep. is, if you <laughs> die, it zooms onto your character. <laughs> so even if you're in different spots on the map and you don't really um, notice what the other guys are doing. You yes. zoom in and you see them like screw it up, exactly. Uh, and then and then they leave the mark. Like you you can see after a while. Like okay, this this person is dying all the time in this corner. It's maybe I should tell them <laughs> don't, don't go die. there. Try yeah. a different strategy. Yeah. And it it sounds a bit mean, but it really helps. Like people also understanding that I might I might try another strategy for this <laughs> because I'm dying all the time in this one spot. But also, what, what we noticed during testing is if you... Oh, that's the whales. Yeah. That's the whale level. If you blame other people, you most of the time die yourself straight afterwards. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a lot of times we, we are telling people that this is uh, in the code and it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a part of the game because every time you say like, don't die that much yeah. or, or try harder, you are the next person yes. screwing up every time. Like yeah. it, it works. I don't know how. Yeah, psychologically, no, that, that there, is, there has to be a psychological thing behind that. Probably. It really is that uh, way. Yeah. That's why I stop blaming people because I always die afterwards. <laughs> I blame people and, like, and I'm fine. <laughs> but See, in the, in the end you get more more nice yeah. through the game. It makes you a nicer person. Yeah, what we thought about accepting. was what you have in the party mode, I think, is um, the actual death counter, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Or the actual... Yeah, how, how often you got hit by um, yeah, bubbles. The fail counter. Yes, the fail counter. Which I um, think is fun. Yeah, we wanted to have more stats in the in the party yeah. mode to give it more um, of its own thing for, apart from the story. And the story really doesn't need to have this, I think, because yeah. you have the outlines, you have a feeling for how it went, but you don't need like numbers. They don't do anything in the end. Exactly, you don't need uh, to know exactly how if you, if you much play, of your friends failed. If you want to blame people, then you got to play party mode. I don't know if you mentioned already, um, if you guys are a bit confused, there's like this spitling standing around, and those are the, the spitlings that you can actually unlock. Yeah. I think yeah. in this safe game we have something unlocked already. So um, you can also change them then on the fly if you unlock them. Um, some of those spitlings are only unlocked when you're doing the B-side, like this fella down there. That, that's a no, chicken no, guy. No, 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 no. Where is it? 
That's, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of a chicken. Okay. Uh, Michael didn't want me to go any piece. Like that. Okay. <laughs> I was not a no, no, no. no. I was a bit to... afraid because we played those in a tournament. Ah, last time. oh, this level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> getting PTSD scared. Part. Yes, a little bit. It, it would take a while. Ah, it's all good. Whoa, that Ooh. was so close. Touch. Oh, no. This one is a very fun one. Like, this is uh, kind of a, a break for a lot of people. Like, uh, up to until this point, you can get through it pretty quickly, and it's like, what? And it's so easy yep. if you know how to do it, and if you're if you're a bit trained in the game. But people will die here a lot of times. Yep. Um, so yeah, talking about the the chicken spitling, like you showed the drawings, right? We had hanging out on mm -hmm. our wall. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, we did those as more of a, a marketing thing uh, at events. So people could draw their own spitlings and it was really ah. fun for people like to draw and this this totally worked. Like they drew so many spitlings. Perfect. And when when the day came and I was tasked to make a hundred spitlings. <laughs> you were like I was I was very Ooh. glad to have some inspiration. So oh. what I did is I, I selected like a bunch of spitlings, I gave them to one of our uh, people and they or actually I, I went to them and they were my what do you call it? Insistent fairy, <laughs> uh, and they, they had to, to draw one of the spitlings randomly, and I had to to take this spitling and um, interpret it in, in my way. So some spitlings you can really see where they are coming from, from which drawings, mm -hmm. but some of them are so different. But it still helped a lot to be inspired by by those. Yeah, I so no, I got really cool. happy with that. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely helpful. So you yeah. kind of crowdsourced uh, the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. idea and drawing and, <laughs> and coming the up process process was like The first 30 was were like, oh, that's easy. And then I hit a wall where I was like, I, I can't do more. <laughs> How? How do I need I to did, come up I with did them all thing. already. <laughs> and, and then like at, at Spittling 60, I was like, I could do this forever. <laughs> I'm never going to stop having ideas. So it was it was uh, interesting, yeah. yeah. Because the, the thing is that maybe what the audience is not like um, seeing like um, right now is that every spitling has a distinct display of how many teeth or spit he has left. Yes. So uh, and with this, th those fellas over here, it's pretty easy since it's just the teeth um, on the the uh, the uh, submarine that Felix was playing earlier. Um, it's like the window, so yeah, you always. Are. You, since you're having your character in view all the time, you always see how much spit you have left. And you can also, um, to maybe to go a little bit back to the basics, since you guys are, you know, just doing your thing, it's like easy peasy, let's go through mm -hmm. that. You can also recharge um, your yep, spit, can, but you I have to... I can show that really quick, like you can hold down and... Mm -hmm. eh. It will, yeah, it will yeah. kind of push out the teeth. Yeah, and you have to, you have to stand still though, so... Um, yeah. You really need to know where to do that, and of course, there are also levels that will um, build up on, upon uh, upon upon this uh, mechanic. Yep. Um, yep. Sure, you can spit up, you can spit down, and spitting down is basically also um, jumping. I'm uh, um, I'm very like surprised that the sound for the recharge is still in there, like that we left it in because this was my voice where I was <laughs> just doing, like. <laughs> And I pitched it around a bit, and I, I just needed it for the timing for the animations to do them right. Uh -huh. But it kind of worked, and everybody liked it, and nobody ever said like we have to change that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? It's 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 fitting. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it's kind fitting. Of cute. I like it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. No, indeed, it is. Oh, boy, ten ten already. So we made our half hour. Pretty much. Yeah, we wow. started a little late, but. That, that was faster than I thought. Time flies. Yeah. Told you, that we will not have issues filling up the I stream cannot, if I we have that. games that are this great. So, yes, you can try out spit links on yourselves um, because there's a demo out there on Steam. You can check that out. You can play it online. You can play it um, locally. Grab your friends, have some fun, shout at each other, go through the levels. As said, those guys make it look pretty <laughs> easy. But this, they level, have... this level takes people like an hour. Yeah. The <laughs> There's, yep. There are levels right now that normally 
guys need like an hour or something and you are just flying through that. I mean, of but course. But I have to say, I, I made a level um, and I had to try it 135 times to finish it. And then I thought, okay, it's possible. It goes in the <laughs> But it's the B-side, you don't have to play it if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we also prepared yeah. those those tables for you, like how many tries we had, and then I was like um, yeah. color-coded, and you saw yeah. some like pretty dark red dots <laughs> with like over 150 deaths. So I was like, B and B yeah. just wrote there, nope. <laughs> so, no, this, this was great stuff. And maybe I will just switch over to the cast of you again. And uh, we will, you know, since we also have other streams coming up, um, can you maybe also um, yes, I will. just mute the sound? I mean, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's working, but it's all right. Um, yeah, as mentioned, the demo is out of Steam. The whole game is out on basically every platform, so you can play it however you want and with whomever you want. Thank you, Michael, for being here with us and talking a little sure. bit about Spitlings and Thanks the... For having me. Of course. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure talking with you about Spitlings and the Massive Mini Team. Give a big shout out to all the other guys at your team for making such a beautiful game that uh, has been entertaining and still is entertaining for um, us for such a long time. Thank and uh, other than that, enjoy the event. And guys, for all the other people that are still watching, we will see us up next with... Let me have a quick one look. Hand one hand clapping. Yes, we will try to play one hand clapping with instruments. So Ooh. you can sing in this game, but you can also use instruments and we will uh, try to do that. Um, so that will be up next. So stay tuned. We will go offline for a second to get everything sorted up and prepared. And then we will be back. So bye bye. Bye bye.